Bikes ain't gonna bother you. Yeah. It's the big hole, huh? Yeah, there, right. <laughs> I'm not worried yet, okay? So this is the shanty town right there. Huh? I don't know. That's they it. Got shanties run all over the place. Yeah, that's the shanty town right there. close to them guys, you get too much weight on there then. <laughs> That's the fun part. Yeah. This is it. This is... the kingfisher right there. Yeah. Trying to put on the jacket. And we are on number six. Number six shanty. That's the heat. Oh, it's kind of slushy here. Let's see what's in there. Morning. How are you doing? Good, and you? So this is it, huh? Yep. We got the heat. Wexlar. How deep is the ice here? 33 huh? inches. 33 inches right there. And here's the kingfisher right there. <laughs> kingfisher. Come on in. Are they biting? They've been biting the last couple of days. They'll be biting today again. I didn't catch your name, man. Andrew. Andrew, okay. Where are we coming from today, guys? Um, I came from Rapids, Wisconsin Rapids, and uh, I picked them up from uh, Beaver Dam. Okay. So I actually picked them up yesterday. I mean, last night I came, uh, picked them up, and we drove up from Beaver Dam today. And uh, I think we missed our. Uh, miss the convoy you know so we had to really hurry up and we are the only car out there uh, everybody is in their SUVs and trucks and we city people are uh, in the Toyota Corolla <laughs> on the ice <laughs> so what kind of fish uh, are are you catching here white fish white fish okay and the best way to um, prepare that white fish would be what? My three favorite are baking them, uh, deep frying them, and smoking them. Okay. Are there a lot of bones in them? Um, there's rib bones and then what they call pen bones. It's just a little stretch of bones that run down the Right on the edge line of the meat, or the ribs, I should say. Yeah. I'll give you guys a quick little demo. Okay, awesome. awesome. That's what we need. Because uh, I, I, 
Never I fished am, for him? I have never done this before. Okay. And I was so scared to, to when driving on the lake here. <laughs> and he had his eyes closed. He didn't even want to see out there. <laughs> so how many miles it is from that point to here? Seven and a half. Oh my God. Seven and a half miles we are out on the lake. About ten miles almost. <sighs> okay. So what are we using here? Today we're using wax worms. Wax worms. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> what you do is you just want to bait all three hooks. Okay. There's a quarter ounce sinker okay. with three little red hooks above them. Okay. Awesome. And what you're gonna want to do is drop her down all the way down to the bottom. Okay. When you know, you'll know when it's down to the bottom when your line goes slack. Okay. And how many can you catch? Uh, what's the limit here, anyways? Ten per person. Ten per any, person. Any size. Any size. We've been averaging a pound and a half to five pounds. Oh my god. Okay. And, and then occasionally we'll catch a eel pout, also known as a burbot. Yeah, I know what they are. Good that to came eat. Up in Canada a lot. Yep, those are really good to eat. The water looks awesome. Looks yeah, the water good. clarity is Can very you call clear. Them a dogfish or a, no? They got them on Lake Winnipeg. Yep, we got them up here too. It's seventy-eight feet here. Seventy-eight feet. Uh, do you have a life jacket? <laughs> <laughs> How thick is the ice? Thirty-three inches. Thirty-three inches. Oh, that's pretty thick. Yeah. Okay, you just sit like that. And All right, uh, your line is slack. You're all the way down to the bottom. Okay. What you want to do is reel up a little bit. Okay. And then just find your bottom. Okay. And just start tapping the bottom real light. Okay. I like to usually yeah, jig it about ten times and then let it pause. When you pause it, bring it up a half inch, then watch your pull tip. Okay. Pause it for about three to five seconds. And the, uh, oh. We got something on there. It looks like a. Uh, bottom. Oh, that looks it's like a zebra muscle textured bottom. We're fishing the sharper breaks today. The last few weeks we've been sh fishing the sh sharp to real deep breaks for the white fish. And uh, this uh, this meter right here, what is it telling me? I mean, it's where the fish are. If you see fish on there. Yeah, the right side right here. Yeah is the regular zoom and this side is the bottom six feet okay. these green marks right here are the fish oh okay let's try and see if we can get one to bite and uh, it doesn't matter what time of day it is uh, when they're hungry or anything huh it'll be just like um not so much when it's hungry when the fish Go deep, it's because it, the sun is out very bright, and when the sun isn't out, what happens is the fish are shallow when it's on a cloudy day. Yeah. So that's why we're in 78 feet of water today. So I'm looking at the left side then? Whoa. Easy. Fish on. Fish is on. You don't want to reel too fast with these white fish. They've got real sensitive mouths and they have a tendency to fall off halfway up. So you just want to reel real slow. slow keep yeah. keep the tenden tendency pretty steady. You don't want to let any slack in your line. 
I see the flash. I see him coming up. Oh, I see him coming up too. I fell off. It's hooked on the ice. I see him down there. No, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Right. The fish is on. Slowly bringing it up. I don't see it yet, but. Another 10 feet down, it looks on the next layer. You can watch that. Oh, there you go. You can see that little red mark coming up about a couple feet under the hole. I just saw him. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, a big monster. They're slimy. Slimy, huh? Slimy boogers. Caught him on the top hook. Awesome. That what do you do? That's this is your Dork County whitefish. Oh. Okay. And you put your fingers in there to clean them out. Yeah, I can see him. He's coming. Oh, that's that's a good size. Yeah, get that out of the way. Right there. Here. Yeah, I kind of on the upper hook. That's like a really shiny one. Yeah. Uh -huh. He lost one trying to screw with that camera. So did you, did you catch a lot on the other other shacks? Yeah. I got one on too. Awesome. Now we are rolling. Oh, this is not like really big, but... Oh, there's a Door County Whitefish. Door County Whitefish. Right here. Oh, this is a super. Ooh, yeah. Big one, huh? Super toad. Oh, my God. You gotta bring this over here on this side so we can see it on the camera. Yeah. And then, uh, after you do this, super, you gotta bleed them out. You gotta go like this. Yep, just like That's that. That's it. That's it. Put them in the pail. Put them in the pail. Right there. <laughs> Pretty good size one, eh? Okay, just bring it right here. Yeah. Here it looks like a good one right there. Perfect. Put it in the bucket. That bucket is full already. There must be over five in there. Yeah. Caught three, and there was four that coming on. Rolling. 
Today we're fishing up in Door County, Wisconsin with Alexander Sport Fishing and his crew. Giving you a demo today is one of the employees, Andrew. So we caught uh, quite a few right here already, but obviously we are not, you know, used to it. So we are not catching as fast as you are, or big as you are. I mean, you got some really big ones right here. Look at this. This bad boy is right here. This bucket is full already. Whoa, he's making some noises. That thing is ugly. Huh? He looks pretty ugly. Anyways. So what? Are, how how are you doing this now? What you want to do is drop your line all the way down to the bottom, reel up a little bit till you find the find the bottom. We're in 78 feet of water today, fishing tight to the bottom. It's a zebra mussel bottom. What you want to do with the sinker rig we're using today is bounce it a couple times, five times, bring it up a half an inch. And watch for that pull tip to tickle a little bit. Pause it for about three to five seconds. Watch your pull tip. That is the biggest factor. Water looks really nice and clean. These white fish have sensitive mouths, very soft. You need to get a real good hook set on these white fish. When you get those white fish on, you want to take your time. You don't want to reel too fast. If you reel too fast, you're going to have it, the white fish fall off halfway up, if not sooner. So just keep your line tight and a steady movement on that reel. It's a long ways up, and I think we've got a nice white fish on, pulling pretty tight. Here he comes. You can see him up. Nice splash under the water, under the ice. Here he comes. And right here is your Door County whitefish. He's going to be one tasty one in the pan, I'll tell you that. seem to be pretty slimy, huh? Yeah, these white fish have a little slime to them, but they are d darn good tasting. Awesome. There it is. Come up to Door County, book a trip with Brett Alexander, Alexander Sport Fishing today. 920-851-4214. Where them things you went? So it looks like you got the uh, one coming up, huh? Just just hooked into a dark honey white fish, guys. Eighty-five feet down. Alright, take your time railing. Not too fast, not too slow, just a steady pace.
Here's your Dorkoni whitefish. Got something over there? Well, I got something. I don't know what it is yet. Is it like a bullhead? Is it like a walleye? Well, I think it's a white fish. It's a white fish. Or a silver minnow. <laughs> I don't see him yet. Something coming up. I don't see him yet. Oh, I saw a flasher. Oh, yep. Oh, he's a good size. He's a good size. Let's get him out of the way. Awesome. Where are you getting? You got another one? Yeah. Another bullhead? Silver minnow. Keep on bringing. Let's see what you got. Let's see what's in this ice hole. Oh, that's a big shiner. Beautiful. Stuck. Your hook is stuck. I know it was stuck on it. I think we missed it. We, he, he's, he's off of it. Don't move. Don't move it. I'll try to get him out. So Oh no, he's there. Oh, I saw him swim by. Oh, he's still coming. Yeah. Good deal. Grab him out of there. He is right. Here we go. How is Kingfisher doing? Slimy itself. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bang the head? Yeah, if I can find his head. There's a fish in a blanket, huh? So how many did he catch? 30 of them today? Who? That was 35 or what? 36? What? Those big ones? I don't know. Probably 40. You lost count, huh? Yeah. You, now you're doing a fisherman's lie right there. <laughs> now you're being a true fisherman right there. Yeah. <laughs> Turn 31 into 40 right away. Yeah. <laughs> So this
this is our catch of the day that we kept. Uh, that's not including all the ones that got away and the ones that we did not want to keep. And uh, here's the shack, right here. And uh, Kingfisher, would you like to come in there, please? Thanks. Go in there and uh, tell us how you managed to catch so many beautiful fish over uh, here. White I fish. Don't talk. Huh? Them birds are going to snoop them away from us. Well, you better get your fillet knife out and uh, keep them away. So, what do you think about all this stuff right here? Huh? Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, these are, these are good size fish right here. And here we are, Alexander Sports, uh, Sport Fishing, right there. Give them a call. We had an awesome time. And uh, we got shacks all over the place, like you can see, right there, right there. And uh, we got shacks right there. 23 shacks. Beautiful. Okay. So what are we going to do with this fish right here? We're going to clean them so you can eat them. Oh, okay, so let's see how it's done because I was, uh, um, you know, before I came here, I, I thought that they were like really bony fish, so I, I didn't know how to clean these things. And uh, I didn't even think that I wanted to even catch these fish because they are so bony. So let's see if you can uh, prove us wrong that uh, they are easy to clean. And we go from there. Do something. At Alexander Sport Fishing, we do offer fish cleaning for our customers. you gonna want to clean these? Well you do it whichever way you would Well it's highly up to you. Um, we want to fry some okay. and we want to bake some and we maybe want to smoke some, you know. Okay. Um, so I mean I, I which which ones are the best for smoking and which ones are the best for like eating? Like the little ones. The, those all of them, I would fillet. Yeah. All of these, heading gut for a smoking. Okay. So let's see how this is done. So you got the head out. Okay. Huh, huh, huh. You got the guts out. Right there. Okay. And this is first. Taking them out to smoke them. All you do is take the head off. You go down the belly. And you just take your finger and clean out all the guts. And there it is. Awesome. A chunk, a chunk of meat for smoking. It's going to taste really well. guests um, when uh, when he throws the guts and stuff all the guests come here we are out on Lake Michigan about seven and a half miles from land um, and um, doing our thing and this fish are these birds are cleaning out the fish, helping out clean the fish out. Really good too. Look at that. Beautifully done. Yeah. So that's part of the entertainment of coming over here, you know, uh, watching these birds doing their thing. These are all for smoking. Uh, those are the bad boys for you know, fillet those bad boys right there.
how to fillet a whitefish, watch and learn. Take the knife, cut right behind the fin, and follow that knife right down the belly. Then just like that. And that's a perfect whitefish fillet. Then we take them and we take the ribs out. Then what you want to do is feel for the pin bones. It's a thin line of pin bones that go right down the back of the fillet. You want to make a V insert. That's how you do it with a northern too. Yep. And that fillet is finely deboned. Awesome. Fish are being caught. Throw this one at the fish, the big one, the, the birds, the, the big, big portion. That's the fun part. Angry at, at all of them. 
He claimed it. He claimed it. Everybody knows. That's Brett and Matt. Brett's driving. Yeah. That's the owner. Do you want to go meet him? Go meet him now. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's Brett Alexander right there. Brett, say hi. Okay. <laughs> so you come see him right there. See, that's his info right there. You come see him. It's awesome. Right here. Yeah, bud. Okay. Sorry about that one. Wow. It's only one fillet. Yeah. <laughs> Knife is so sharp. The key to filleting these whitefish are sharp knives. If you don't have a sharp knife, You want to get one because these white fish you want to be able to just slide that knife right down the right down the backbone just like so and that's a perfect fillet transport these guys for transportation purposes we have to keep the skin on because that is one way that we can identify what kind of fish it is in case you were to get stopped by the Wisconsin DNR Feeding the birds. The birds are the words. Knife is getting dull. And that is your catch of the day. All cleaned. Awesome. Ready to eat. Okay, so we got our fishing done. Now we are ready to leave, and um, we are going to take off from our shack, which is right there. And I think that the kingfisher was very happy with his catch today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Ready to rock and roll. Now we gotta go this way. Now we are driving on the driving on the ice. ice on the lake. This is where the mighty Lake Michigan is. And look at all the drifts that have already happened. Yeah. In just a few few hours we were here. Okay. So we're gonna go like this. Oop. Drifting off. 
and we are the only car on the lake. Everybody has a truck, four-wheel drive, da da da. And uh, but Toyota Corolla is doing pretty good. It's doing really good so far. So as long as we can, oh drifts. Nope, this doesn't look good. This does not look good. Drifts happen. Hope we are going in the right direction here. Oh great, I hope so too. Yeah. I think we are going in the right direction, aren't we? Oh man, I gotta turn this video off. Okay? Yeah. I think I gotta concentrate on driving. On driving. Here. But this is like seven miles of driving right here I gotta do. Okay? So I hope that we are going back the correct way. Okay. Are we? So we are on uh, Lake Michigan. We're coming to the end, end part right here. Well, not really. I mean, we're still going to go. We were seven and a half miles in, and um, <clears throat> there were portions where it gets really like drifted in, you know. And uh, we are riding in a in a car, so I mean I got scared, so I had to shut the video off. But here it looks pretty okay, and we're coming close to the land, you know. We see the land pretty close, so I figured I can make the last section video right here and um, see what's going on here there's just a little pathway going through and if somebody was coming from the other side I don't think that we would have enough room in some well, areas if he had a truck and we had yeah. this we would have had the roadway anyway yeah heated so we didn't have to worry about anything in there uh, you could pretty much fish in t-shirt if you wanted to it was warm enough and uh, still a little ways from here I mean the land looks close but it's still far away
show, I guess. I mean, we didn't catch any monsters or anything, but it was still fun. You know, you could stay here all day if you wanted to. I don't think I'd want to stay all day. the end.